Hello, I'm Dr. Wong. I would like to give you an overview of my article, 3D printed patient specific application in orthopedics. With advances in modern medical imaging and computer programming, medical images are processed to create 3D virtual models of patient own anatomy for surgical planning. Over the last decade, 3D printing is increasingly used in medical application due to its flexibility in fabricating objects. This paper is providing an update on this emerging technology for personalized treatment in orthopedics. There are three necessary steps to prepare medical imaging to find low 3D printing. 2D images are acquired, processed, and create 3D models by image segmentation. They can be further used for surgical simulation in like a bone tumor surgery planning, panel resection, design a guide to help the resection, design a custom implant for the reconstruction before they are sent to a 3D printing machine. Physical model and custom implant are found then fabricated layer by layer by 3D printing technology that are used for customized treatment based on patient own data. One of the main applications in 3D printing is the creation of a surgical model, provide both tactile and visual understanding of surgical anatomy and pathology that are important for the surgical planning application and training. The second application, patient-specific instrument, they are used to replicate surgical planning. At the time of surgery, they have been used in joint replacement, spine and bone tumor surgery. The most advanced application is 3D printed custom implant that are anatomically matched to a patient's surgical requirement. 3D printing can fabricate compact strometry with porous latex that may facilitate osseo integration and reduce implant stiffness. But they have uh, some current uh, limitations in this technology, like high cost of the implant, lead time in manufacturing, lack of uh, interoperative flexibility, and some of the concern how to monitor the safety of these medical devices. Direction for future developments, whether we can develop a printable material that is similar to bone, whether we can add bound molecules or drugs to this 3D printer scaffold, or, and, or develop an integrated all-in-one computer system, for the, all the users involved in this planning. So to conclude, the advent of image processing and 3D printing is opening up many opportunities in patient-specific application of orthopedics. This paper is to provide a review of 3D printing in patient-specific orthopedics. Thank you.